Hi, Year Two. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, the twenty third of February. Um, did a great job yesterday with using the text helper, so we are going to do the same thing today. Let's take a moment to read the text that goes alongside um, the picture to provide some context. So let us know what's happening. And we've also got the pictures to help us there as well. So take a moment to read and generate your initial thoughts, the first things that you think to try and understand what's happening here. And um, let's have a read. If you need longer to read, pause me now. If you're ready, stay with me. Okay, I'm going to read it. Feel free to follow alongside me. Today is Caroline's birthday. Caroline invited her friends to her house for a party. At the party, they all played party games. Caroline's mum made a great big cake that had seven candles on it. Caroline's friends gave her some lovely presents. Her favourite gifts were the toy monkey and the magic book. I'm going to read that one more time. Today is Caroline's birthday. Caroline invited her friends to her house for a party. At the party they all played party games. Caroline's mum made a great big cake that had seven candles on it. Caroline's friends gave her some lovely presents. Her favourite gifts were the toy monkey and the magic book. Just take a moment to have a think about what you think you know and understand from the picture and the text that goes alongside it. Ready for our first question. Here we go. Question number one, we can get a quick answer from this. Plain and simple, look at the text. Whose birthday is it? Pause now, find and record. Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? That's right. Today is Caroline's birthday. Caroline is the person whose birthday it is. It talks about Caroline's birthday. Caroline invited her friends and what her friends got her and what her mum did for her. So whose birthday is it? It's Caroline's birthday. What I'd also make sure you've done if you've recorded and written this down, Caroline has a capital C because it's a proper noun. It's the specific name of the girl. Her name is Caroline. So make sure it's got that capital. Okay. Where did her birthday party take place? So we know she's having a birthday party. That's the picture we can see. But where does it take place? Where are they? In order to find this answer, you need to look at the text. So have a read through again. Even if you think you know, find it. Where did her birthday party take place? Pause me now. Have a look for that. Well done. So what I would have expected you to see you doing there is reading again, looking for the place where her party took place. Where were they? So I'm going to just read and look for where. Today is Caroline's birthday party. Caroline invited her friends to her house for a party. So she invited her friends to her house for the party. So the word you should have found for me there is house. It's her house. That's important as well, sorry, her house. So where did her birthday party take place? It took place at her house. I know this because the text says she invited her friends to her house for a party. Okay, let's see how we get on with this one. How old is Caroline? Now, 
there is an indication, so something is showing you in the text it's written and also in the picture it's shown, but it doesn't specifically tell you how old she is, but there's something that indicates to you her age. Now you'll need to infer here, think what does the text tell me and what do I know about birthdays? If you put what you know in your head and the evidence you have, you should be able to infer her age. How old is she? Let's have a look for that. How old is Caroline? Pause now. Slightly trickier here, but what I'd hope is that um, you guys have some knowledge of birthdays and how they kind of work. So let's have a read and look for some kind of number um, in something showing us her age. So um, it's her birthday. She invited her friends to her house at the party with her games. Her mum made a great big cake that had seven candles on it. Also see in the picture, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. Now, it doesn't say Caroline is seven years old. It says that her mum made a cake with seven candles on it. That is my evidence. What I know already in my brain, my prior knowledge, is that quite, it's quite traditional, quite often people do this, at a birthday, however many years old you are is however, however many candles that you have. Okay, that's something that's quite traditional for a birthday. So if I were to turn 10 years old, I might have 10 candles. If I were five, I'd have five candles. Um, and as you get older, what happens is there's not enough candles to put on the cake. So at my next birthday, possibly I won't have that many candles, but I might have something else to indicate how old I am. So particularly when you're a child, often the amount of candles on the cake shows you your age. So from this, I can to say I can infer that Caroline is seven years old today because today is her birthday. I know this because there are seven candles on her cake and I know that traditionally the amount of candles on your cake is how many years you've been alive. Okay so I think Caroline is seven years old. I've used the text and I've used the picture. Which presents did Caroline like the most? So I can see in the picture that we've got some presents around. I want to know which she liked the most. Let's have a look through the text. Which presents did she like the most? And is there more than one? It says presents, which is a plural, which indicates to me that there is more than one. So you're looking for more than one present. Which presents did she like the most? Let's try and find that answer. Pause me now. So what I'm going to do now is have a read through the text, see if I can find which presents did she like the most. Um, invite her friends to the party, they play party games, her mum made a big cake, seven candles. Her favourite gifts were the toy monkey and the magic book. Now, the question doesn't say which presents were her favourite. It says which did she like the most. So what I need to know here is what this word means. The word favourite means most well liked. If you say that something is your favourite thing, you like it the most out of out of all the things you have. So I might say my what my favourite dinner is. It's the, the food I like to eat for my dinner out of everything. I like that the best. Okay. So although the question doesn't say which is her favourite, it asks which she likes the most. And I know that's what favourite means. It means most well liked. So from that, I can say that her favourite um, gifts and the presents that she liked the most were the toy monkey and the magic book. And what I can see here is that here is the little monkey and here is the book. And the text tells me her favourite gifts were the toy monkey and the magic book. How many friends came to her party? I'm not going to tell you where to find this information. I want you to find it, whether it's in the text or in the picture. How many friends came to her party? Pause me now. Have a go. So we know we've got two types of evidence here. We've been using picture evidence for a long time. Um, and now we're introducing some text in written form evidence. So it's, the answer is going to be here somewhere. 
um, or I can infer it as well using evidence I have. So what I'm doing is I'm just having a little read to see if anything mentions how many friends. So it says she's invited her friends, friends, which means there's definitely more than one friend because there's it's plural. That means more than one friends invited her friends. OK, so the text doesn't tell me how many there were. And that's what the question's asking me. But it does tell me that there's definitely more than one because it's plural, more than one friends. OK, so not in the text. I'm going to look in the picture. Hmm. I'm assuming here that this is her mum because her friends would probably be similar in her age. They're probably all around seven years old. That lady doesn't look seven years old. So it's probably her mum that's spoken about in the text. The picture shows me one two, three friends. I can infer that this is Caroline because she is in the middle. She looks like she's about to blow out candles on her cake. The gifts are around her. So we can say that is Caroline. So in the background, I can see one, two, three. I think that three friends came to her party. I think this because I can see three other children around Caroline at her birthday party in the picture? The answer is not always in the text. So look in the text, but also use the picture to help you. I'm going to leave you with this question and I've taken away the text because you don't need it for this. When Caroline blows out her candles, she will make a wish. Now this is another tradition, things that people do on birthdays. Often birthdays are supposed to be a lucky day and some people make a wish in their head, wish for something to happen or um, to receive something or wish good things upon other people before you blow out your candles. Now, she's going to make a wish and I would like you to tell me what might she wish for? Try and put yourself in Caroline's shoes here. We know the things that she likes, so that might tell us more about what she might wish for. Or it's her birthday, so really you could wish for anything. I would like you to record for me somewhere, whether it's written or recorded like this, what might she wish for on her birthday? Send that in to us on Seesaw. Great job, guys.